Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future editors, subscribers, viewers, and students. There are another set of exercises about differentiation of functions. Uh, less animations because I want to solve many exercises from 25 to 38 in this case, so that uh, many exercises can be explained and can be solved. I hope that through this video, you will be more confident in differentiating functions, and these are needed for you to prepare to problems, for the problems in the future. So differentiate the functions, the exercises 25, 26, 27, and 28 are taken from the book by Lava Great Bill, while 29 to 38 are exercises from the book by James Stewart. So for problem 25, this is y equals quantity x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1. We have derivative of uh, ratio fractions. And the derivative is denominator times derivative of numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over denominator square. So that is uh, denominator x squared minus 1. Derivative of numerator x squared plus 1 is 2x minus numerator x squared plus 1 times the derivative of the denominator, which is also 2x, all over denominator squared. So simplifying the numerator, we have 2x cubed minus 2x, then minus 2x cubed minus 2x, all over denominator quantity x squared minus 1 squared. So we can cancel 2x cubed and combine it negative 2x and negative 2x. So dy dx is negative 4x all over quantity x squared minus 1 squared. So that's that's it for problem 25. For problem 26, this is again derivative of fractions. So we have the same uh, differentiation technique, derivative of ratio. So f of v is 1 plus v over 3 minus v squared. So the f prime of v is the denominator 3 minus v squared. The derivative of numerator 1 plus v with respect to v is 1 minus numerator quantity 1 plus v times derivative of denominator negative 2v all over denominator square. So simplifying 3 minus v square then minus uh, quantity. So let's simplify. We have negative 2v and negative minus quantity negative 2v and minus 2v square all over denominator square. Simplifying further 3 minus v square plus 2v then plus 2v square. So we have 2v square minus v square so v square. And we have 3 plus 2v. So 3 plus 2v plus v square all over quantity 3 minus v square square. So that's exercise 26. Then we proceed to 27. So I'll just name this function symbol psi. So psi, psi of v equals 3 minus v square all over 1 plus v. So we have derivative of fraction again. So which is... Uh, Uh, 
this is of the same form but the reciprocal of problem 26 so we have uh, denominator 1 plus b derivative of numerator negative 2b then minus uh, numerator quantity 3 minus b squared derivative of 1 plus b with respect to b is b all over denominator square simplifying negative 2b negative 2b square then minus 3 plus b square all over denominator square so final answer psi prime v is equal to uh, we have negative v square negative 2v square plus v square negative 2v and negative 3 so we factor out negative 1 or the entire negative then we'll have v square plus 2v plus 3 all over denominator 1 plus v quantity square then 28 psi of x equals x times x plus 1 all over 2x minus 1. So this is again derivative of fraction. And since the numerator is, we have product of functions to make it just a single factor. So we have to distribute x squared plus x all over 2x minus 1. So psi prime of x is equal to denominator 2x minus 1, derivative of numerator 2x plus 1, minus numerator quantity x squared plus x, derivative of denominator is 2, all over denominator square. So we have 4x squared minus 1, this one, product, and minus 2x squared and minus 2x all over denominator square. So simplifying, we have 4x square minus 2x square is 2x square minus 2x minus 1. So 2x square minus 2x minus 1 in the numerator, all over denominator square. Then from the book by James Dewart, so we have 29 f of t equals t to the fourth plus 8 over 4. So 1 fourth is constant. So derivative is equal to constant 1 fourth times derivative of t to the fourth plus 8, which is 40 cubed. So simplifying, we have f prime of t equals t cubed. Number 30, r of t is 5t to the negative 3 fifths. 5 of 3, 5t to the negative 3 fifths. So r prime of t is equal to 5, then quantity negative 3 fifths t to the negative 3 fifths minus 1, which is negative 8 fifths. So that's the answer, automatic. And 5 times negative 3 fifths is negative 3. 31 f of x, 31 f of x equals x over 2 to the fifth. So simplifying first, that's 1 over 32 x to the fifth. So f prime of x is 1 over 32 times 5x to the fourth. 1 over 32 times 5x to the fourth is 5 over 32x to the fourth. So that's the answer. 32 g of x equals uh, x squared plus 1 over x squared. So we write this 1 over x squared as x to the negative 2. So g of x is x squared plus x to the negative 2. So g prime of x equals 2x, then negative 2x to the negative 3 by power formula. So g prime of x is 2x, then minus 2 over x cubed after we rewrite this so that uh, the exponent of x would be positive. Then 33 y equals square root of x times quantity x minus 1. Uh, we distribute first. So we have square root of x times x is x to the 3 halves, then minus square root of x or minus x to the 1 half so that we can easily evaluate the derivative by our formula. So dy dx is equal to 3 halves x to the 1 half. 1 half is 3 halves minus 1, then minus 1 half x to the 1 half minus 1, so x to the negative 1 half. 
So dy dx is 3 halves. We rewrite this into square root of x, then minus 1 over 2 square root of x. x to the negative 1 half is 1 over square root of x, or 1 over x to the positive 1. So that's the same. 34, y equals x quantity x squared plus 4x plus 3 over square root of x. We first distribute square root of x and we write that as y equals x to the 3 halves. x square over square root of x is x to the 3 halves or x to the 2 minus x to the quantity 2 minus 1 half. So x to the 3 halves for x to the 1 half plus 3 over 3 times x to the negative 1 half. So that's the same. Differentiating the y dx is 3 halves x to the 1 half. 3 halves minus 1 is 1 half. Plus 4 times 1 half is 2. x to the 1 half minus 1, negative 1 half. Then mine plus 3 times negative 1 half or minus 3 halves x to the negative 1 half minus 1. So x to the negative 3 halves. So dy dx is, we rewrite this into 3 over 2 square root, 3 square root of x over 2, or 3 halves square root of x, plus 2 over square root of x, then minus 3 over 2x to the positive 3 halves. So that's the answer. 35, g of u equals 2 square root, equals square root of 2 times u, the square root of 3u. So u is inside the radical for this case, while u here is outside. So g prime of u is, we rewrite this into square root of 2 times u, the square root of 3 times u to the 1 half. So g prime of u is square root of 2, the derivative u is, with respect to u, is 1. Then plus square root of 3 times 1 half u to the negative 1 half. So g prime of u is square root of 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 square root of u. So that's the answer. 36, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So dy dx or y prime is a times 2x or 2ax plus b. 37, v equals t squared minus 1 over 4 root of t cubed. So this is rewritten as v equals t squared minus 1 over t to the 3 fourths. And rewriting further into t squared minus t to the negative 3 fourths so that we can conveniently apply power formula. So derivative of v with respect to t is dv dt. So the derivative of t squared is 2t, while the derivative of negative t to the negative 3 fourths is negative of negative 3 fourths. So that's positive 3 fourths t to the negative 7 over 4, where negative 7 over 4 is negative 7 fourths, is negative 3 fourths minus 1. So that is 2t plus 3 fourths t to the negative 7 fourths. We're writing further so that the exponent would be positive. So dv dt is 2t plus 3 over 4 times 4 to of p to the 7. So that's the same as that. Lastly, 38u is cube root of t squared plus 2 cube root of t cube. So we rewrite that into t u equals t to the 2 thirds plus 2 times t to the 3 halves or 1 half of 3. So du dt is 2 thirds t to the negative 1 third then plus 2 times 3 halves is 3 t to the 1 half where negative one third is two thirds minus one, while three half, while one half is three halves minus one. So writing so that the exponent would be positive. So we have two over three cube root of t, then plus three square root of t. So that's it for this video. This is just slides, especially those who are very expert in differentiating functions.